we now have the FBI agent who sent shirtless photos, uh, who's embroiled in the Petraea sex scandal right now. Um, this is the he's agent been, who Jill Kelly yes. went to yes. bafflingly because she got threatening emails from Paula. Which we found out were not threatening emails, but it's just Paula Broadwell Defensive. saying, uh, you've been too flirtatious. Right, stay away yeah. from my man. Yeah, specifically. Yeah. Those reading. type of emails. Yeah. Um, but he's identified as Frederick W. Humphreys III. We have the photo there. Um, <laughs> those are his two. <laughs> That's just, uh, okay, yeah. let me just say a couple of things here. Now, all this time, everybody's saying, oh, they, he sent a shirtless picture, he sent a shirtless picture to Jill Kelly, totally inappropriate. Now that I see the shirtless picture, oh, okay, I get it. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, he's showing his abs, et cetera, but that picture was actually slightly funny. Yeah, and his thing was he'd send it with a joke being, pick out who's the real dummy. Yeah. 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 Like with that little punchline. Actually, they explain it a little bit. Uh, it says, indeed, among his friends and associates, Humphreys was known to send dumb joke emails in which the punchline was provided by opening an attached photo about this one in particular. Uh, a Seattle Times reporter was among those who received an email containing an attachment of the shirtless photo. The subject line read, which one is Fred? And so the thing is, it's not like he just sent this photo to her, like he snapped it, like, oh, here's something sexy for her. He had already, already sent it out. So this that guy, makes it much less salacious for Yeah, me. this guy was unacceptable because he started an investigation into someone's private life and, and got into their emails based on nonsense. Okay, based on, oh my God, you didn't like the email that was sent to you. Maybe. That was not threatening at all. And then, second of all, then he took, when he didn't like how the investigation was going, he took it to political people like Eric Cantor. I mean, there was a lot of unacceptable things. Is that things right? He, he took it to Cantor? Yeah. So now, but the shirtless photo thing, yeah, full part. Yeah. yeah, full part on the shirtless photo. Bio, it's a shirtless we, photo. Can we see the it's photo a again? Real photo. Quick? I mean, he's in great shape. Yeah, he's in good shape. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, should I we just, have Anna rule? See, that's why I like this because this is like that's how I like that's my best case scenario. Because he's you know <laughs> like I can't get all bulky like the dummies, uh -huh. you know. Right. But like I guess if I hired a trainer and like did nothing else, uh -huh. you know, I could get within twenty five percent of that. Yeah, no, I hear you. That's your best case scenario. That that. Scenario does not exist for me. But uh. <laughs> I'm not sure that it's like a, a thing that, like, do you want to be like those dummies? Those, I mean, no, I don't no, no, find no, that no, attractive. You don't want to be like those dummies. I'd yeah. like a lower half. Yeah, that'd be well, nice. Of course, sure. Well, no, we don't, don't, what's wrong with the missing, shape that the dummies are in? The lower half is just one long stick. No, they're a bit the, thicker, but they, you still see abs. I mean, no, that's too, uh, that's too much. Yeah. I, yeah. The dummies I, I are dare to dream. Yeah. But that is self effacing. That's clearly a joke. He didn't tweet out his junk to people. Yeah. yeah, let him go on that. 